In today's episode, we're going to take you on a beautiful hike from a couple of years ago to the gorgeous Akshor waterfalls in northern Morocco. We started our adventure from the city of Shifshawen, and you might also hear locals referring to it as Shawen or tourists calling it the blue city of Morocco. It's one of the most visited cities and the most Instagrammable in the country, rich in both history and culture. From the center of the city, you will be able to catch a grand taxi. These are taxis that are allowed to drive outside of the city. And you're going to be most likely riding with about six people. So when you get there, expect the taxi driver to wait for all the spots to fill in. Now, the cost per person for one way is about four American dollars. And the drive from Shifshawen to the trailhead takes about 45 minutes. The landscape of the reef mountains throughout the drive is really breathtaking. Now, when you get to the trailhead, you will notice that there are two trails. The first one takes you to the waterfall, and then the other one takes you to the bridge of God. We're gonna start with the first trail to the waterfall. The trail is pretty straightforward for the most part and there are three remarkable stops. The first one is the first waterfall or the lower waterfall and if you missed on your opportunity to grab some water or snacks at the trailhead or even from the city, this is going to be the right spot to do so. There is a cafe restaurant to either buy some snacks, drinks or even sit down, order a meal and enjoy some mint tea. The second stop will be the second waterfall and this one is a little bit larger than the previous one and from that point on expect to do some water crossing so having hiking poles with you will come in very handy. And as I mentioned earlier, there are more and more stands for snacks and drinks throughout the way. The one thing that you don't want to miss if you're looking for a boost of energy is fresh squeezed orange juice. It's honestly one of the best that I've ever had. The trail will open to a beautiful meadow and that would be a nice spot to stop and take a break to enjoy the openness of the landscape. The last stop is the upper waterfall, the tallest and the most beautiful. It's going to take you about two hours to get there from the trailhead and again this is going to vary based on how many breaks you take and how fast of a hiker you are. This waterfall is about 100 meters long and it's mind blowing to see how much water is just flowing on and on and on every single day. So we're just sitting here waiting for our food to be ready. At the upper waterfall we took some time to enjoy the chicken and vegetables tagine that we ordered with some homemade bread and of course some fresh Moroccan mint tea. The tagine turned out to be very, very tasty. Right after that, we started heading back to the trailhead the exact same way we came in, and we made it right on time to explore the second trail that will take us to the Bridge of the Gods. This is the bridge we are aiming for. I'm not sure if you are able to see it. Even myself, it was kind of hard, of, hard for me to recognize it's a bridge. But there we go. The bridge is over there. The hike to get to the bridge takes about one hour with a little bit more elevation gain compared to the first trail, but the view is absolutely worth it.
For more information about this hike, you can check our website, trekkingpals.com, with a little bit more details and more photos to help you plan for this adventure. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider subscribing to our channel, Your Trekking Pals, Habiba and Alex, and we'll see you soon on another adventure.